Hello there, Leo. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 23rd through the 29th. I am using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so, Leo, let's just get started on Monday. What you have coming up is you have that Five of Swords. Now, Five of Swords is just telling me that on Monday you have a project that you're working on with a group of other people. Everybody is supposed to be aimed at the same target, the same goal, but something's going on where... Um, where everybody sort of has their own agenda about how to get to that target or that goal. And so what's going on is this project really is just coming to a complete standstill. So I see a lot of frustration in that area coming on for you on Monday. Now Tuesday, what we have coming up is we have the Three of Cups, a much nicer energy on this card. The Three of Cups really just talks about hanging out with some friends, getting together with some friends and enjoying some time together with them. This can be something like getting a nice email from an old friend you haven't heard from for a while or a phone call or a text message, or it can actually be some face-to-face -face time with some friends and just really enjoying that time together with them. Uh, so that's Tuesday. Wednesday, what we have coming up is we have a Four of Cups in Reverse. Four of Cups in Reverse is telling me that on Wednesday, you kind of start to go into pity party mode, but you catch yourself. You're like, wait a second. I remember what Amista says about pity parties. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And you kind of pull yourself out and you start looking instead of, oh, poor me, poor me, at the opportunities that are around you. And so you start to pull yourself out of that pity party really, really quickly on Wednesday. So excited to see that for you Leos. Woohoo! Awesome. Now, Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the Eight of Clubs. Now, Eight of Clubs is things moving very quickly around you. So you've got a lot going on around you. Things are changing very fast. It's kind of like you're just pedaling fast to kind of keep up. Now, that's for some of you. The other thing that this card can indicate, and I'm feeling like it's for a smaller percentage of you, maybe 5 to 10%, but this card can also indicate falling in love. Sometimes that can happen very quickly. So for some of you, something's going to happen Thursday that you're going to be going, that person has my attention. <laughs> I think maybe this guy could be interesting or this girl, depending who you are and what your preference is. But anyway, somebody's going to be getting your attention in a very positive way romantically for that 5 or 10% of you. For the rest of you, it's just talking about life is going to be hectic and crazy on Thursday. Things are going to be going good. Um, and it's, this is a very positive thing. So this is talking about like, say if you own your own company and you're, this is bringing in a lot of business on Thursday. Or if you know, if you work for a company, this is really getting a lot accomplished. This is taking care of a lot of stuff and, and really um, doing things that make you look good to your supervisors on Thursday because you're handling a lot and you're doing it well. Okay, so that's Thursday for you Leos. Friday what we have coming up for Leos is the King of Coins. King of Coins. For some of you, you're going to be getting a bonus on Friday with your regular paycheck. Um, well, it doesn't have to. I'm also feeling like for some of you, it will come in with your regular paycheck. I'm feeling like some of you actually get paid Thursday and you're going to have a bonus that shows up on Friday. I'm um, not sure what this bonus is all about, <laughs> but it's coming in pretty strongly. So um, this is a general reading, so it's not going to, not everything is going to apply to everybody. Of course, you guys know that. I've said that before. If you want to get a specific reading where I can look at specific energies just for you, then, you know, you would have to contact me for that. That's a whole other ballgame. This is set up so that I have asked Sacred Spirit to bring in something that the majority of you Leos need to know on these videos for each day. So if you're, you don't happen to be in the majority, this may not apply to you. So you just need to know. And this seems pretty specific. That's why I'm saying that. This seems like a pretty specific thing for me to be knowing some of you are getting a bonus with your paycheck and some of you are getting a bonus. You're actually paid on Thursday and you're getting a bonus that actually comes into your hand on Fridays. Um, so some of you are going to be getting a bonus on Friday. That's what I'm picking up with the King of Coins. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum 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 -bum. Some of you who are not getting a bonus from work, I'm feeling like you are going to be getting gifts from outside of work, from friends, from relatives, things like that on Friday. Somebody is going to be generous with you on Friday. And um, once again, that's for the majority. That's not going to apply to everybody. But I am expecting quite a few of you to receive something quite nice of monetary value on Friday. Now, 
Um, Leos, for Saturday, what you have coming up is you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse just means that you are passing along good ideas to other people. For some of you, um, I have the picture, <laughs> once again, very specific, not going to apply to everybody. But for some of you, I'm really getting the impression of Boy Scout groups. I feel like you're going to be leading Boy Scout groups or addressing Boy Scout groups on Saturday. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> who that exactly applies to, but I'm feeling like there's more than a handful that it does. Um, there's also going to be other kinds of groups that are similar to that. There's Girl Scouts, there's 4-H, all that other stuff. You know, if you're addressing those groups, you're passing along good ideas to them. At least hopefully you are. Hopefully you're qualified to address them. I'm going to assume that you are if you're doing that. And um, for others of you, this is just going to be maybe even passing along good ideas to your own children at home or out and about just as you go through the day. And for others of you, this is going to have nothing to do with children or young ones. This is just going to be passing along good ideas to friends or to people that you know in your sphere of influence. But Leos, I do see you passing along good ideas to people in your sphere of influence somehow on Saturday. Lots of different ways that can manifest. Now, Sunday, Eight of Swords in Reverse. So this is one of those cards that it's always better to get it in reverse than it is to get it right side up, okay? So Eight of Swords in reverse, this is just telling me that you've had a situation that you felt really stumped by. You really kind of didn't know what to do with this situation. And what happens when this card comes in in reverse is we have this new perspective. We have this mindset where we realize, wait a second, this problem that I have is not even based in reality. This is totally right here. It's totally of my making in my own head. So once you start to see that it's really not even based on reality, then of course there's solutions to the problem. It's not even a problem to start with. So that's always a good thing to realize that what you thought was a problem isn't one. So that's what I see happening for you guys on Sunday, Leos. So that is your week. For anybody who would like to schedule a private session with me, please check out my website. I'm at amista.info. That's A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you've poked around there a little while, if you still feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, then feel free to contact me, um, and we will set up a session for you as quickly as possible. For everybody else, I will see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.